after this colorful shot of the break from the barrier. We'll One of the oldest sports in the world oh, is taking a giant stride into the future by putting wearable technology on horses. The aim, stopping injuries on the racetrack before they happen. We're trying to find the needle in the haystack. You know, the horse that seemingly is jogging sound, doing great, but is potentially sitting on a catastrophic injury. Dr. Sarah Langsam is spearheading the project for the American Association of Equine Practitioners. Her team is testing biometric sensors from six different manufacturers, which are placed inside the horse's saddle cloths. The makers later use AI to detect any changes in the data they gather. They are measuring the fingerprint for every horse. Every horse has a fingerprint for how they go. So uh, different standard deviations away from that horse is normal will indicate that there's a change. Something she hopes could extend racehorses' careers, keeping them running sound longer. Industry groups have provided nearly $1 million to support the project, while racehorse owners and trainers have volunteered more than 700 two-year-old thoroughbreds to take part in the year-long trial. Each one has been wearing the sensors during their weekly high-speed workouts. There's a, a, an expression on the racetrack that Oh, the horse just took a bad step. And I think what we're finding out is that that is not the case. Usually those situations are, are building over time. At the end of the year, that data will be presented to the Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Authority and could help inform future guidelines. And they'll start to download all the data that we got from that race. At the historic Churchill Downs, StrideSafe, one of the sensors picked for the study, has already been used for all races since 2023, including this year's Kentucky Derby. When there was a cluster of fatalities, we decided that we could bring our, our technology to bear to try and help. StrideSafe CEO believes it's only a matter of time before it's embraced by the wider racing community. Owners, trainers and veterinarians are now all aware of this information, but there's a, a lot of variability in the degree to which they accept it. Racing manager David Fisk says he's open to it. I'm certain there's pushback. I mean, I think there are trainers who may be training for 20, 30, 40 years, and they do not want to uh, give up their opinion to, you know, some data. I'm the kind of guy that wants to know as much about the horses as possible. When horses are traveling at 40 mile an hour across the racetrack, the human brain is just not able to comprehend what is actually happening. Owners, trainers, and veterinarians agree on one thing. Keeping racehorses safe is the key to this sport's future and its credibility. Everyone understands that the health and safety of the racehorse, the jockey, Everyone around that horse is important enough that we need to, to deal with it and open that Pandora's box and, and get all this data 